Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Shilo's Updates. Today I am back with another interesting topic and it's about how to calculate the quality of materials which has arrived in dump truck or in tipper lorry. If you are a fresher in any site, the first work your senior engineer may ask you to do is to calculate the quantity of materials which has arrived in tipper lorry or in any dump truck. You must know how to calculate the quantity of materials which has added in lorry. To calculate the quantity of materials, first you have to see the shape of the lorry. Whether it is in rectangular in shape or in trapezoidal in shape. In some lorry like this, you can see this picture. In this lorry, the front part is slope in shape and at the back part is straight in shape. To calculate the quantity of materials in this tipper lorry, First, we have to measure the length L1, then we have to measure the length L2. Next, we have to measure the height of the lorry, then we have to measure the width of the lorry. First, you have to measure length L1, then you have to measure length L2. Next, you have to measure height, then you have to measure the width. In this picture, you can see the width of the lorry, W. You have to measure all those things. Here, I am going to take the length L1 as 4.5 meter and length L2 as 4 meter. Height is 1.5 meter and width is 2.5 meter. We all know that to calculate the area of trapezoid, the formula is since this lorry is in trapezoidal in shape, so we have to calculate the area of trapezoid. The formula is area of trapezoid is equal to L1 plus L2 divided by 2 into into height L1 plus L2 divided by 2 into height is equal to L1 4.5 plus L2 is 4 meter divided by 2 into height of the lorry is 1.5 meter when you calculate this you get the answer 6.3 meter square uh, next you have to calculate the volume to calculate the volume you have to just multiply this area with the width. Volume is equal to what is the area? 6.3. What is the width here? 2.5 meter. When you multiply this, you get the answer 15.75 meter cube. We get the volume in meter cube. But at sight, the engineers won't say the measurement in meter cube. They used to say in cubic feet or in unit. So we have to convert this meter cube into unit and cubic feet. Let's see how to convert. We all know that one unit is equal to 2.83 meter cube. So to convert this meter cube into unit, 1 meter cube is equal to 1 divided by 2.83 unit. We have to convert this 15.74 meter cube into unit which is equal to 15.75 divided by 2.83. We get the answer 5.56 unit. Next, we have to convert this meter cube into cubic feet. 1 meter cube is equal to 35.3147 cubic feet. It is equal to 15.75 into 35.3147. We get the answer 556 cubic 
scientific field. Now we have got the answer in unit and also in cubic feet. At sight, this 5.56 unit, the engineers used to say as 5.5 unit sand has came to the site. Um, in this way, they use the damp unit at sight. Now, if you want this unit conversion, check the link I have given above and also in the description box. I hope this video helps to you. you. If this video helps you, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and support Shailu's updates. Thank you so much.